Good morning. We're back. <laughs> so I think we figured out all you really need is um, a little bit of <laughs> adventure in your morning to get going and a willingness like when Mel shows up, she's like, what are we doing today? I was like, all right, forum balance. And she's still smiling. So <laughs> I think that's the special sauce right there, just a willingness to, uh, to go for it and see what happens. Um, we're going to start today in supported fish, so you can grab pretty much anything, um, some pillows, blocks, or whatever. You're going to come onto your back. I'm going to set up the block underneath your shoulders so that you can have a little more rounding in your spine. So often when we do this, yep, try that. We are inviting you to take something underneath your head to support you. Not this morning because we are working towards sort of a deep thoracic and cervical spine um, <clears throat> extension. So if you start off with a block or something supporting your head, all you want to do is slowly over time be able to work towards dropping gently the weight of your head. And that might mean an extra 10 or 12 breaths. It might mean a couple extra minutes. But you have uh, all the time in the world to hit pause, do what you need. And when you're ready to come back to a little more um, <clears throat> invigorating, <laughs> shall we say, supported fish, boom, this table will be ready for you. So as you start to kind of sink in and get a little more comfortable, we're going to start to open the palms. Maybe they have room to come to a T or to reach above you. And maybe you're doing a little more stretchy, stretchy down through the toes. You're starting to work the breath a little bit here too. That's all. So I keep saying to you that part of the trick, if you will, about getting into some of these postures is less strain, right? A little more ease. So even though you're about to stand on your forearms, look by up towards your thumbs and get your feet above your head, which feels like you might need to squeeze and hold on for dear life. Really the bones are going to do most of the work. So you're going to stack the strength of your body, similar to acro yoga, right? When we stack the planks, I feel like that may have been this or the 20 days, but you get the gist. Um, you don't want to hold on for dear life. You do want to take just another three breaths here. Maybe lifting the low ribs as you fill up a little farther away from your hips and pubic bone, expanding the ribs. And spending some time in the front of your throat, feeling it open. You know, if you need a little extra time here this morning for any number of reasons, feel free to stay. Maybe that's what this is about today. A little bit of supported fish. But if and when you're ready, you're going to start to engage your core. Draw your palms to the sky. As you tuck your chin from strength, come gently to seated. And you can move the blocks out from uh, underneath you. So we're going to cross your legs. We'll just come into tabletop. So as you make your way onto all fours, go ahead and fan fingers. Opening cow. Trying to recreate that little bit of supported fish. So not a lot of strain. Rounding to cat. We'll take this just a couple of times. And if it feels good, you can take hips side to side, sing them to your heels, stretch to the neck, right? You want to feel your way into your body. Notice if um, there's any place in particular you need to spend some time on. I brought Pamela a little foam roller this morning. <laughs> yeah, it's just she needed to work out some kinks. So feel free to hit pause, do what you need, and keep moving along. But as you come through, maybe baby cobra, working towards your upward facing, getting a little more into that heart opening, but now a little support from the belly. So draw the belly in and engage your glutes here and start to lift your right foot a little off the mat. So knees lift, right foot lifts, and then gently bring it down. Just an invitation to kind of balance out the sacrum, the hips, left foot lifts a little bit. Inviting a little bit of uh, back body strength here, slowly lowering all the way down to your mat to set up for locust. So keeping your chin a little tucked as we get started. Arms are going to work behind you. And you can interlace the hands if it feels better to work palms like airplane. Come on up. Engaging for mostly length, right? We want the strength, yes, but we're not trying to squish um, into smaller beings. We're trying to expand. We want to lengthen, extend the spine, 
two. Maybe now you start to draw your gaze a little forward. Think about keeping all that length though on the back side of your neck, right up to the base of your skull. And then exhale, come on down. Nice job. Find your palms underneath you, pressing again through table. And we're gonna set up windowsill. So we're gonna grab those blocks again, place them in front of your fingertips. You could do this on a windowsill. Um, it's just what I call it, because for whatever reason, some of my, I guess I tend to always do it at the windowsill. Um, but you could do it on your kitchen counter, your couch, right? Coffee table, doesn't matter. Elbows in line with the shoulders, prayer palms. Drop the heart through first, tilt the tailbone. And if it feels okay, you can draw your fingertips towards the spine. But in essence, if your fingertips are at the sky, it's basically where you're going to be shortly, soon enough. And it's nothing we wanna force, right? We're still looking for that little bit of ease. So creating some balance here by using the strength of your legs, maybe your toes are lifting, you're kind of balancing the weight of your hips over your knees by drawing those sits bones a little bit farther behind you. But you're just gonna take about five breaths. All right, really expanding the rib cage. Normally we're telling you to tuck the low ribs in most of the postures. And uh, letting your breath expand the rib cage is actually a little bit more helpful, particularly in this forearm balance. While it's an arm balance, you are upside down, very similar to headstand, tripod, and uh, handstand. So we've included it in this week's journey. So one more generous breath. And then gently fingertips to the sky first. And then lifting the chest a little, head a little, make sure your arms work as you work off your blocks. And this time we're gonna set up dolphin, but we're gonna use your blocks because we're gonna take the palms yeah, um, to frame with your thumbs and your pointers. So instead of prayer palming your dolphin today, we're gonna set up with the block so you can press into it. Forearms are gonna come onto your mat. And you're gonna to start to look towards your block a little more uh, focused today so that as you curl your toes and lift the sits bones, again, we're recreating that um, windowsill posture. You have that little rinse of the shoulders, you have your heart kind of pressing towards your toes here. You can feel free to bend the knees and you can walk your feet in as far as feels good. As allows you to get a little more pike right? A little Uddiyana Bandha happening at the core, the hinge at the hips. And we're going to work your feet a little closer together to take your left foot to the sky. And make sure you're breathing. And then release. We'll go right to the other side. Right toes are going to reach. You can press off the toes, the ball of your foot if you'd like. Two and then gently come down to child's pose. So again, a little bit of introduction of the work and foundation you're gonna use. And coming back to those little bits of rest. So softening the shoulders. And then as you find your palms coming gently through tabletop, you can gently move the blocks out of your way. We're gonna curl your toes and find your downward facing. Right, as you drop your head a little heavier, a little focus on driving those sits bones to the sky, just take your right foot to the sky, peel open. All right, not a whole lot of time, just finding familiar space and mobility here, knee towards your nose, step through low lunge. Breathe your right fingers to the sky, peel open, two-ish, <laughs> quick crack. <laughs> There's some of those kinks being worked out. Exhale, drop the palms, step to the front of your mat, toes touch, lengthen, and then forward fold. All the way to standing, just get a good breath, a little stretchy, stretchy, whatever you need here. Engage your glutes, press those hips, and then when you're ready, exhale, forward fold. Just find your own rhythm this morning, lengthen, We'll take one chaturanga. Knees can be up or down. We're not looking to tax the shoulders. So whatever works for your morning body, go for it. 
Remember that up dog, squeeze the belly in and then downward facing to reach your left toes. Peel it open. Take what you need here and then knee towards your nose. Through to low lunge, breathe those left fingers to the sky. You get the ball of your back foot so you can move around but just get a good breath and then exhale, drop the palms to plant. Front of your mat, toes touch, lengthen and fold all the way to standing and then exhale release as you inhale to lengthen we'll step one last chaturanga working the upward facing really supporting the spine so if that means knees are down or glutes are a little stronger sort that out and then you're going to shorten your down dog stance so in the forearm because you're on the forearms just like we did in handstand Shorting the, shortening the stance, you're gonna gaze between your thumbs, super important, okay? Take one leg up, just like that little crowbar, and practice those little jumps. You don't have to jump all the way into handstand unless you're loving it these days, but we wanna save a little bit of strength, so get used to that. Couple on one side, maybe check out the other. Never know, <laughs> it might not be the worst side today. Awesome, and then come on down. You can bring your knees to your mat. And we're going to take that block again between the thumbs and the pointers. So as you set up, just like you did for dolphin, this time we're going to set up for forearm balance. So as you bring the forearms down, make sure your breath is back. Um, right, remember, you can do this again and again, but you're going to take a little child's pose in between so that you have all of your energy. You don't want to compromise your shoulders. If your forearms are sweaty, we don't want the elbows to scoot out as you come up, so make sure they're a little bit grippy. Grab a towel if you need to wipe them off, or you can even place a towel underneath them. So you want to make sure you use the blocks. It's going to prevent your hands from sliding inward and elbows out. Curl your toes. <laughs> Remember, most of you are going to start with the wall. And you might be surprised, I was this morning, that this is sometimes easier to balance than handstand. You just want to look up towards the block. That's what you're going to keep. And you're going to think about coming into locust pose as you come up. Okay? <laughs> Presto changeo. So easy, right? Um, if you have a solid human, their forearm, yeah, is right there. Awesome. Press the balls of your, toe, uh, your feet. Pre yeah. Press, press, press. Beautiful. Squeeze your buns of steel and find that little bit of locus. And ever so slowly, one leg at a time, come on down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Child's <funny>. pose. <laughs> I think Pamela surprised herself. <laughs> She's never done it before. Yeah, just don't think about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, <Wow>. you... <laughs> so you may have noticed um, just the slightest bit, Pamela is a little sweaty. Um, no surprise, it was a tremendous amount of work, um, but it's good work, right? So the elbows are starting to come out a little, so that's what we want to prevent. So if you want to come back to something like windowsill pose, or you want to take this a couple of times, go for it. But for now, um, believe it or not, that little dab will do you. You want to find <laughs> that moment of awesomeness, even if you kind of body slam WWF style. And then you want to come back to it again and again. Kind of working on it too far past exhaustion in some of these um, muscles in the range of motion um, is going to be a little defeating. So just trust that once or twice is the perfect amount. <laughs> she, she missed that one. Um, and we're going to just cross your legs and come on to your back for a moment. A little bit of supine twist. So we want to alleviate some of the pressure in the low back. So as you come onto your back, just take your right knee up and over. If it feels better to tuck both knees, go for it. <clears throat> but eventually finding a little supine twist to one side. So I've probably said this before, but... Um, Perfecting the rest, right? The recovery is just as important, if not more, than sort of mastering 
all of the work, all of the inversions. The quicker you can recover, right, the quicker you get back to, to things. If you're not recovering, then you'll never get back there because it's in these moments of recovery and rest that your body actually rebuilds uh, muscle tissue, restores the body, finds balance again. So absolutely necessary. As you come through center, we're just gonna take it to the other side. Letting the breath settle. Letting the body settle towards the mat. And again, as always, just noticing what you're trying to come into forearm balance or even just thinking about it. So we work through those couple of uh, integration postures. You're just not thinking about the rest of your day. So maybe that's the takeaway. Maybe that's the gift being present just for those few moments. So. Um, if you want to come back to this a little bit later, do it this afternoon, this evening, tomorrow, whatever. Right? You've got lots of time and you've got access to the video whenever you need, so no stress. As you come gently back to center, tuck knees. If you want to hang out in happy baby, straddle stretch, all the things you need are there. But otherwise, you're going to rock and roll, come back to seated ever so gently and with gratitude. Right? Palms just a heart center. The mere fact that you could even attempt it. <laughs> Um, if you were, yeah, <laughs> slinging yourself through the sky, awesome, right? It means you probably got four limbs um, or the means uh, to find some modifications. If you don't, right, you got to take the positive. So, so easy to focus on what we don't have and what we can't do. So, <sighs> nice job this morning. Thumbs to forehead center with so much respect, right? For ourselves and those around us, and certainly this practice, we bow and we say, Namaste. So we'll see you tomorrow, right? Toodles. <laughs>